Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 49 of New Vegas. When we left off, uh, we were actually somewhere completely different. Uh, I wanted to double check and see if I got all the survivalist caches before I continued on with the main quest. And I found them all now, so we're all good. There wasn't really that much in them, but it was good to find them and have them as a uh, challenge completed. Whoa, that head went off quick. Uh, okay, let's get that. There's a bunch of young geckos around here. And make us strong to resist those who would steal from us. Oh, I'll help you uh, do that. <laughs> Don't need the father to help you with that. I can do that just fine. All right. It's a young gecko. Actually, I think I want to. Take this one out to get it out of the way. Uh, I could have sworn I heard something coming. Nope. I was wrong. Alright. Uh, let's deal with this. Get the hide and meat. That's always good. That's a young gecko here. There we go. Oop. There we go. Now it makes sense. Now when I was coming up here before, there's a couple things that screwed up. I was trying to double check if I got everything from all the places, and some things really kind of messed up. <laughs> Mainly this Yagwai had a friend right behind us, and it killed both of us trying to deal with him. So... Hopefully that doesn't happen this time. Come on, let me aim at the head. There we go. Put a couple of rounds there. There we go. Woo! That was close. And I need only one more Yagwai for that thing. Cool beans. Uh, I need to eat some things deal with some of my weight a little bit. Don't really need the Yagwai meat, so I don't know why I'm carrying that. Doesn't really have enough value to justify it being carried. That's a another Yagwai, I think. Yeah. It's a giant Yagwai. You leave me no choice. Keep going. Okay. Let's see if we can face this Yagwai. Uh, it seems to be coming from the other way. Alright then. Well, maybe we'll... Yep, it's right over there. Uh, let me see if I can take out the head a bit. Well, I got some good hits. Not a lot. And... I see a lot of... Bark scorpion bodies and a lot of other things. Hmm. Let's take a whiskey, because fuck it. Uh, that's not what I want. I want the bark scorpion. There we go. And it's just running away. That's a... Uh, it's not something I expected out of it. Let's see if we can put in more bullets in there. Okay. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. That's one more down. And where's Waking Cloud? Last thing I need is one sneaking up behind me and killing her. That would not be great. I want to make it through this whole playthrough with everyone alive. There we go. All right. Now, I'm running out of ammo for this gun, but that's fine. <laughs> running out of the ammo for the that gun. <laughs> uh, that's funny to me. Anyway, uh, we will deal with some of these guys. Let's say, uh... Yao oh, yeah. Even our strongest hunters could not hope to kill so many. There must be a nest nearby. And I think we're standing right in front of it. What do you propose? Fighting so many at once is a dangerous prospect. 
unless you are a truly mighty warrior. This oh, nest so close again. together suggests a nest nearby. If we find it and destroy it, we might have better luck. How would we do that? Did Daniel not give you some of the new Canaanites' fire clay? That's that the could C4. easily collapse a cave and trap the beasts inside. Look around and see if you can find a cave nearby. It may prove easier than slaying the beasts. Oh, we better get to work then. I stand with you. Since I just earned the challenge done, I kind of don't want to do th the uh, killing part. So I think I'm going to go do the cave as of right now, because it'd be easier. Uh, it turns out that I didn't even have any explosives for the whole tunnel. So uh, we're going to end up having to kill him regardless. Great. Uh, <laughs> so, oh well. Looks like that's how it goes. We'll go this way then. And I'm pretty sure that's where the Yagwai are hiding. I uh, kind of want to put on cat vision. Uh, cat eye, so that way I'm able to see. Fucking pull on the Witcher stuff over here. Whoop. Okay, I think this does it. Time again, I think I'm pretty much good. And that was all cubs. Well. I figured it would be much worse. Hmm. That ended up working better than I had ever expected. Uh, what I should do is unlock the uh, spot. Well, I'm the, all the strength you need for that. Don't you worry none about that. And there's usually some sort of something over here. Anyway, I'm just unlocking this one spot because I think that's the last thing I need to unlock in this whole area's map. I think. I might be wrong. Pine Creek Tunnel. And you can't even go through it, so yeah, I think it's pretty much good. Alright. Now we simply head back to the Sorrows Camp. I'll sell off some of my stuff if I can. And we will have a good day, I think. <laughs> and by good day, I mean get this whole thing going. This whole thing kicking off. Hey, Joshua. Let me sell you some Welcome stuff. Back. And, let, and repair some of my stuff. That'd be nice. There's that. And that. The, that gun. And let's trade a little bit. You have any, ooh, you do have some more ammo. Cool. That's what I need. Uh, don't necessarily need all of that. That'd be nice to have. Um, see what else you have that I need. All that for sure. Always need those. Okay, I think that's about it. Now let's sell you some of the stuff I don't need, which is a lot more stuff than I'd like to say he is. Um, need all of those. These, not so much, but I'll hold on to them for now. Uh, hmm. Now it's just basically selling off crap I don't need. Which is all those. Hmm, yep. Those. Definitely don't need those. That and that. Uh... Red Scorpion, Poisoned Lands. I thought I dropped all of those off because I know they have some use, but I don't need them right now. Uh, Chase Embrace, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to save it in my apartment back in Mojave. Take that. Do the trade for right now. And then I'll sell some of my stuff I'm hiding up in the... Uh, Stonebones Cave. Ooh, I could make some more of this. Not a lot more, but it's always good to have more. 
and we'll go back to our little base of operations and we'll do a little inventory management before the end of the episode. Be right back. Alright, inventory management is done and it is raining like a motherfucker. Now it's time to find Daniel and get this whole show on the roll. On the road. I'm drunk with power and boost, but mainly power. Okay. Now we're heading to where he is, which is right over here, understandably so, with it raining and all. Not really a lot of cover for you, though. <laughs> My voice cracked there for a second. Not really a lot of cover. All right. I'm glad to see you're still with us. I checked everything in the valley and got you the map of Grand Staircase. I appreciate it. Well, that's it. This is all we need. Now all that's left is to quietly pack up and try to get out of here without being noticed. That's assuming that Joshua won't try to stop me. And that he hasn't talked you into fighting the White Legs, despite what I've said. Uh, don't worry, I don't hold it against you. You're a... an outsider. Fighting seems like the practical solution. I'll tell you again. There's more at stake. Whether you decide... <laughs> Whether you decide whether the Sorrows should fight or flee, your decision will set their destiny irrevocably in motion. You will be unable to finish any remaining quests in Zion once you make your decision, so choose wisely. Well, um, I actually believe Joshua's in the right on that. The White Legs will not stop unless they are ended. Need to think on this. Even our so I can doubts. get that level up done. Think it over, but listen to your heart. And do it quickly. We don't have much time. You don't need to tell me. There we go. Let's uh, pop some skill into guns for right now. Uh, what else needs to be upped a bit? Uh, guns really is about it. And then I think... Hmm. I think I want to put it into either sneak or speech. Put it in the speech. Fuck it, why not? Then there's the perk, which I think I said before I was going to... I said, I said before I would be doing it into tag. And we'll tag another skill with the uh, 15 up. Which I think I will put to hmm, survival. That way I don't need to waste more points on the way on the way up with that. Oh, first I need to sell things to Joshua. Get all of that stuff out of the way, and I think I'm gonna run with the uh, welcome back 44 Magnum for, you? for a little bit. So I've never really ran it with enough skill to use it. So I want to see how well it does. Just on that. That's really it. Um, that's uh, Yeah, those. Selling those. And the fire axe. Oh, I didn't know I still had forceps in my thing. Oops. Hmm. That was rather quick. Oh, well. Cool. Is there anything else I wanted to sell to you? No, I can't. Not really. Doesn't seem like anything. Okay, cool. I'm good. Wait a minute. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I already had it in speech, though. But damn, I could've. I could've. Welcome back. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh, jeez. I feel dumb. I feel so dumb. Uh. I'll fix that. Alright, I'm back. I redid all the stats for the level up. Luckily, I, uh, the autosave did it right before ending the conversation with Daniel. So now I did all the stats again. And now I should be able to talk to him. I also had to take a Mentats and 
drink a whiskey, but I'm good. I'm good on that. Now we'll get to I'll get to show you some of the backstory. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Uh, can I ask you some personal questions? It's not something I enjoy, but I pray to God that someone may learn from my mistakes. What would you like to know? Are you in much pain? Is there anything I can do to help? You are kind to offer, but no, there's nothing you can do. We don't use cams, but I learned long ago that I'm immune to their effects. It never stops burning, my skin. Every day I have to unwind the bandages and replace them with fresh ones. Exposing my body to the air is like living through it again. But it's better to be clean than comfortable. And that is what he suffers through every day because of his choice to follow Caesar. That, if anything, tells me that he has learned his lessons. That doing it for no reason, like he used to with Caesar, uh, Caesar, is not the right way to do things. Which is why I think he's in the right for wanting to save the sorrows. And that is why we will start out this episode, well, start out the next episode doing that. Daniel. Unless you and Joshua have any objections, I'd like to start evacuating the sorrows. I'm going to need your help, so say your piece. I do have some objections. I think Joshua's right. We should fight the White Legs. <sighs> no. Why? Why? Haven't you seen enough of what's going on here to see that the sorrows don't need to butcher the White Legs for a piece of land? What Joshua wants is more than an attack. He wants a slaughter. And he needs more than you and the dead horses to do it. The sorrows can't be pushed into this. You and Joshua don't have the right to force them into it. Please, consider what I'm saying. And you have the right to pull them off their land? I've already explained to them that we're leaving. They've accepted it. What is Joshua going to tell them about being a warrior? What are you going to tell them about how to live with themselves after they got lost in the moment? Killed someone who didn't deserve to die? Or does that not matter? Is that just... An acceptable consequence if it means holding on to this valley. Maybe there is no place left in this world for mercy. But even if it tramples me into the dust, I will never accept it. And I will never condone it. Joshua must be waiting for you. I'll stay here with the others as I told them I would. All right. Waking Cloud has returned to the camp. So now we're going to be running with one of my favorites. Once it loads up, you're gonna find out. Here we go. Thank you for this. I know Daniel doesn't approve, but destroying the White Legs is the only way to ensure the Sorrows can remain in Zion. You mm. and I will lead a group of Dead Horse Warriors and Sorrows Hunters into Three Marys from this position. Our objective is to find the White Legs leader, Salt Upon Wounds, and prevent him from fleeing. Show no quarter to the white legs we come across. Make no mistake about why we are here. This is an extermination. Let's do it. God be with you. All right. Joshua Graham has given you the way of the Canaanite perk. While Joshua Graham is in your party, any 45 caliber auto pistol you use has less spread and is twice as likely to score critical hits. And I have a lot of dehydration. Good lord. Um, let's deal with that before I end this episode, I think. Uh, yeah, there we are. Deal with all of that. Alternatively, I could have used the water that is right next to me. But fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. As far as I'm concerned. That's good. Okay, eat one of these, and I'll drink a little bit. There we go. And that should do my stats pretty good. Yep, all good. Wait, what's all the effects? Gecko steak, mentat, purified water, purified water, and alcohol. Okay, I'm pretty much all good now. 
and I should end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video, and share and comment so we can bring more people into this community and we can talk about the games we're currently playing together and we enjoy. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.